What is in vitro transcription and how does it work? During transcription, a segment of DNA is used as a template to produce a complementary RNA molecule. This fundamental biological process usually occurs within cells but can also be recapitulated in a reaction tube. This laboratory technique is referred to as in vitro transcription and is an important method for a wide variety of research and pharmaceutical procedures. Before we start, 97% of the viewers have not subscribed to the channel. If you are one of them, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Helps me a lot. The steps of in vitro transcription can vary depending on the specific protocol and the type of RNA being synthesized. But here is the general outline of the process. The first step is to generate a DNA template that will serve as a starting material for RNA synthesis. This DNA template can for example be a plasmid or a linear DNA fragment that contains the desired sequence of the RNA to be synthesized. Aside from the sequence encoding the RNA of interest, the DNA template must also contain a promoter sequence from which transcription can be initiated by an RNA polymerase enzyme. A commonly used system is the transcription machinery of the T7 phage which consists of the T7 promoter sequence that is recognized by the T7 RNA polymerase enzyme, leading to transcription of the sequence downstream of the T7 promoter. Thanks to its short length, the T7 promoter region can for example be added to the fragment of interest during PCR by using primers with overhangs encoding the T7 promoter sequence. The next step is to set up the transcription reaction in a test tube. This involves combining the DNA template, the T7 RNA polymerase, nucleotides and buffer components in the appropriate concentrations and ratios. The reaction mixture is usually incubated at a specific temperature for a certain amount of time to allow RNA synthesis to occur. The T7 RNA polymerase binds to the T7 promoter region and initiates transcription. This process continues until the end of the DNA template is reached, at which point the RNA polymerase runs off the template and the RNA synthesis is completed. Once the transcription reaction is complete, the RNA product needs to be purified from the reaction mixture. Regularly, DNA is added and the sample is incubated for a while to degrade the DNA template. The remaining purification procedure can be done using a variety of methods such as column chromatography, gel electrophoresis or precipitation with ethanol or isopropanol. The purified RNA can then be analyzed or used for downstream applications. In vitro transcription is a powerful tool for producing RNA molecules in a controlled and reproducible manner. It can be used to study RNA structure, function and regulation, as well as to produce RNA molecules for various biotechnological and therapeutic applications. Please like the video if it was helpful to you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already and check out one of these interesting videos here. See you!